it on the other side here, okay? Right there. Is that better? Is that okay? My name is Roger Ebert, and I am writer in general and a film critic for the Chicago Sun Times. 2011 was a very good year. I published my memoir titled Life Itself, and it made the New York Times bestseller list. I won the Carl Sandburg Literary Award from the Chicago Public Library. My wife Chaz and I produced a successful public television program, and I wrote 295 movie reviews for the Chicago Sun Times, which makes 2011 my most productive year. When I went in for surgery in 2006 I had no idea I would never speak again. There was no single day when I was told that, but gradually it became very clear. I started writing notes, and then using the voice on the laptop. Did she give them to you? During that process I discovered that I have an ability to improvise and compromise. I tried to make the most of the possibilities. I especially like chats and emails which are less frustrating on both sides. Okay. Not being able to speak is an incredible frustration for a motor mouth like me. The computer voice is far from being a substitute, but it's better than nothing. On a typical day, I watch movies at home or in theaters. I do all my writing. I do a lot of reading. I communicate with the world by email, Twitter, Facebook and my blog. I don't really need to speak to do any of those things. Chaz and I talk a lot, but we're pretty good at using the computer voice or writing notes. I started writing my blog while I was still in a hospital bed. The feedback I received gave me a whole new sense of my readers. It was a new form of communication which came along just as I lost the ability to speak. I discovered I had readers from all over the world. 25% are outside the United States. I was also impressed by the quality of the comments. Most comments on the internet are worthless trash. One magazine said my blog had about the best comments you'll find on the web. Writing life itself took about two years to write in one form or another, and when it was finished I was very pleased. For years I always said I'd never write my autobiography. I thought I didn't have enough to write about. It turned out I had too much. With everything I write, I'm very personal. I write in the first person. I don't believe in a movie review pretending it is objective. Review is always just someone's subjective opinion. Some reviewers of my memoir were surprised by how personal I was and the kinds of things I wrote about. Being candid is in my nature. I can't help myself.